Right, let's see what we get when we spin the wheel of golf clubs. Fingers crossed, not a driver. Fingers crossed, not a driver. Guys, it's a gap wedge. It's a gap wedge. Welcome back, guys. Another video on PGA 2K23. And today we're going to play this wonderful game. Just want to set them to the black tees because we know we are we are going for it today we're going to play the one club challenge and yeah just roll the clip so as you can see we're going to play gap Witch today and we're going to play it at copper ed at innisbrook one of my favorite all-time favorite courses uh let's see what we can score with only a gap which my hopes is not high enough because there is some of these these that is um, really quite far and we only have a gap which to play with and as you can see it doesn't go that far so most if not most of our shots we're going to lose is going to be because we can't get to the green in time so I have to say I don't have high hopes for this one because we're going to play with a with a with a gap which if I had the, the, the optimal club would be something like I don't know maybe a maybe something like a seven six iron mid iron something but Vegas can't be chooses if you know what I mean so we have to play gap wedge all time and let's just see what we can score with this thing I mean, we can only inch us, ourselves forward um, bit by bit so let's see what we can do if I play this as just a normal punch shot maybe. Maybe that is actually quite better. Okay, so the rules are, if you're not familiar with this one, I will link a video in the description of my first one. So the rules are, I am allowed to use my pattern just on the green, only on the green. Otherwise, it's going to be basically impossible to get anything in the hole so i am allowed to use my putter just on the green otherwise we are playing with the gap wedge a big hook big hook yeah i know i need a club or two extra but i mean i can't really choose my club can i huh? so we're gonna have to play a little little low draw that's a kind of a right shot there we go with a gap wedge mm. punch shot i mean we're gonna we're gonna play this shot a lot and that's a perfect one and this is the thing i i love about this we have a gap wedge to chip with so i can actually chip this time instead of struggling with the the five or the seven like i've did in the previous ones you can also chip with them but you aren't that accurate and the ball will run but today we have a gap which we can actually chip with you can't even reach the the fairway with this thing wow okay gap which oh the timing is still way too fast, even though I've spent some time. Okay, let's see what I can do. Yeah, all right. Very fast. That's still fine. Oh, on the card path? Not, not anymore. Uh, love wedge. Oh, we, we want a gap wedge, sir. And we're going to punch this, sir. Let me show you. Let me show you. Oh, very fast. Come on. Right, big, big butt for the bogey. Let's just hit it. Hit it and pray it. Oh, that was actually quite close. I have to say, that was kind of close. And I... I don't like where, where, we, where we stand right now. It's a par 3. And... Well, how? How are we going to get to that green? Alright, little gap wedge little gap which gonna have to hit a 
I'm gonna hit a punch shot if I'm long against that thing, but I'm gonna just hit a little punch that was a bit too fast. Damn it! Uh which knows. Uh, I'm gonna play I'm gonna play my gap wedge, you know it. We only play the gap wedge here. Well now we have to chip, but guess what? We can chip with the gap wedge. We can do this as well and it just needs to stay right over there. Oh, not a bad chip, not a bad chip, but we have to be, we have to settle for a double and this is, this is the, this is actually the hole I was dreading. This was the hole I was dreading because we need to hit it onto that. Yeah, we need to hit it onto that T-box, otherwise, otherwise we are we are kind of we have to inch our way closer and then we have to get now we started with a very fast and now it's just slow and i get a bit forward i need to i need to there's a reason i have to we need to go for this one we're not gonna we have to chip it in but we need to be on here and then we need to we need to play pray we need to play and we need to pray. That's it. We're on the fairway, so now we can start edging ourselves forwards. Well, took us a few shots, but now we can start inching our way forward, which is which is going to take some time. Uh, yeah, another gap, which if I can place it just there, just there. All right, now we have a gap, which which inside into the green that was too fast but we can play the gap wedge out of this and this one doesn't look half bad we got a straight up putt and this putt is to well yeah well the only thing I can't mess up I actually just mess up Aiming for that, for that, for that tee box, and then again with the gap, which normal. Gonna hit that one fast. We're gonna get into the fairway. We're gonna inch ourselves forwards. Yeah, boy. It's the only thing we can do. Then we play it very fast. Uh, no, we need a cap witch with the pitch. And now it's very slow. Mm. Okay, let's place it just here. Uh, that was a bit too hard. That was a bit too hard. Oh, almost played that one. Alright, let's go for the gap witch for the double bogey. Okay, a little 50 percent uh, all right, there we can now putt for the triple bogey, and that's in into the hole. Ah, cap wedge, of course, cap wedge. Let's just play this one. That's a good shot, and uh, now it's long. Uh, down, choose cap wedge. There we go, and this will set us up not half bad. Not half bad, this one. There we go. Mm. Let's hit this one. This one can actually roll. We can actually putt for par. We can actually putt for par. If this putt just goes in, I miscalculated that putt just a little. Anyways, let's head on to the next hole. This is a short, I said short. This is a long bar three, this. This is really a long bar three. Um, we just have to play in hope. Okay, there we go. All right. Cap wedge for the pitch shot. Okay. That was a bit slow. Okay. There we go, this one will run a bit and now we just have to putt this one. 
right big right to left well, I say big right to left I'm it's not that big it's just right to left but damn damn my score doesn't look bad good really not looking good that's not a bad strike we are in the fairway starting to hit this thing to hit this thing quite good Uh, just as I said it, I hit it bad, but it's it's all right. Oh, that's 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 actually great. That was a good sounding shot. Uh, straightforward, but for the bar, it might be a little bit too hard. But I mean, still in the hole. Uh, yeah. Uh, tap on the back there, even though. Even though I wasn't that precious but that on the back all right let's put this one up there let's put this one up there that was a bit slow that was slow all right gap wedge and then there we go it was very fast come on come on come on gap one shot Okay. Still very fast. How is this the whole time that fast? There we go. That's on the fringe. We can actually chip that. We can chip this. Uh, gap wedge. Come a bit closer to me, sir. And then this is going to have a big lift to right. So we have to play it just like that. That was just a little bit too little power but we are in uh, another big bar five like I said we can just put it down right about on that that tee box we could have played it from there but yeah okay let's see gap wedge playing it onto the fairway there we go roll a bit there we go All right straight down this is just has to roll come on wind take me away it's a bit slow that was more about backswing right okay love wedge now we're gonna have to play a, a, a gap wedge just a little one mm, sand beach time love wedge gap wedge come on all right fingers crossed Okay, big, big butt for the bogey. Come on, turn. Turn! You should have turned. Damn. Alright, we're still in the, we're still in it. We're still in it. Uh, bar 4. This is also kind of a windy one. Just have to come up to that fairway. Right there. Otherwise, okay. So, if I am not mistaken, there is, we need to come back. This is the pitching wedge. If I can hit it just correctly. Otherwise, it's, this is going to be water bound. Yeah. Set, set, set. Great! Great! Yes! Normal. Not bad. Not bad. We're on the green. We're playing. We're playing. Come on, turn a bit, turn a bit. Ooh. Oh, that that was that was we'll be getting somewhere at least. All right, bar three. Gap wedge. We need to play this one just a little short. All right, from here, we play gap wedge, and that's not bad. Now just thing just needs to roll a bit more. Otherwise, we're gonna be stranded right here where we are. And then we just have to play the chip shot. We can't play anything else. And then we can actually putt this one. All right. Big left to right. Come on, turn a bit more. You were. Yeah. Uh, all right. Twenty-nine of the thirteen. 
So we've made a triple bogey on each hole right now. Gap reach. Uh, come on, just reach the fairway. Pitching wedge, no. Gap wedge. That's perfect. Just stay in the fairway. Okay, now we can inch ourselves forward ever so slightly. Inch by inch. We're like a caterpillar. Taking our time, being patient. One day we will get to the green. Each shot takes some time but it will we will get there eventually all right that's all right here we go come back come back come back you have momentum come back for the bogey this is big left to right and it's downhill and it's gonna go gone yep uh unlucky john unlucky it's fine we just have to play this uphill there we go pin high there we go tap it in tap it in we're not doing that well guys and that's because we do not have power whatsoever and this is gonna this is this is actually not a pretty easy shot this is not an easy shot that's not bad now we can play the uh, the gap wedge, the chip shot, and then we can play this 100%. Come on. Okay, now we have to chip with it once more. But this one is going to be a short little thing like this. Come on. Come on. Ah, tap in bogey. Always, always a little tap in bogey. All right, gap wedge. Gap wedge on the 16th, we have to play this. Hope for the best. Sit down. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Six iron. Oh, no, so we're going to take a big gap wedge. I think our caddy is kind of, kind of, uh, just quit his job right now because I was just playing gap wedge this whole time. Mm, not bad. I did not anticipate for that. Now let's play the gap wedge. That uh, little punch shot, I think. Just a little one, like that. Oh, that's a bit of a tree. That was what I was afraid of. But I mean, we're on the green, which is not that bad. Mm, little right to left. Come on, turn. You were licking that rim. Right, here we go. This is the 17th hole. The penultimate hole, this. Alright, let's just move this one as far as I can. And then we play again. Mm, that's a bit fast, but we're on the green and this is one massive, massive green. Alright, come on. We have to hinge basically to get this thing just up there not a bad but <laughs> not a bad but all right last hole last hole long bar bar four we are Ooh, if i can make this that would be great if i can actually make the car path that did not work okay let's get the cap wedge out gonna play a little low draw that was not bad that was half decent all right almost there almost there just a few more shots i'm gonna play this side otherwise i'm sitting there in the sand and i'm not no. that was oh that's not a bad shot that's not a bad shot so for the bogey fingers crossed just for the bogey we we couldn't tap that one guys if you like this episode please press the like button and i will see you in the next one